Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you all? Hope you're doing really well. It's time for a beer review as such. It, it's just a bit of fun, this video. That's all this is, is a bit of fun. It's John Smith's, it's extra smooth. And we're gonna run it through the Guinness Nitro Surge. So Guinness Extra Smooth, it does have your, blah, 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 try again. It does have a widget in it, a floating widget. Uh, it's got nitro in it to give it that extra super smooth kind of feel to it. So we're going to run it through the nitro surge, the Guinness nitro surge device. There it is. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this device. Uh, I've run quite a few nitro beers through it, but I haven't done John Smith's. So it's time to run John Smith through it. I have done the pinprick method on it. So we've released a bit of the gas so it'll go through the nitro surge device properly. Um, look. I'm not a big fan of John Smith's. It's not a great beer anymore. I reviewed it a long time ago, and it's probably one of the few videos I've done that I've received a few negative comments about, uh, but that's fine. It's got a big following. It's still a huge beer, so people clearly do still enjoy it. I just don't like it. I'm not a fan of it, but it's a nitro type beer, so we've got to run it through the surge, haven't we really? So like I say, I've had negative comments on it and that's fine. You put yourself out there on YouTube, you've got to expect some negative comments and I'm all cool with that. So this is just a bit of fun. It's, I mean, it's super smooth generally anyway. So running it through the surge device, will it be even any smoother? Will it taste any different? I don't know. Let's have a bit of fun. That's all this video is, is a bit of fun. So there it is. There's the can of John Smith's. I'm being careful how I handle it because I have released some gas from it. So the can's a bit squidgy. Um, and we'll put it through the nitro device and let's see what happens with it. Let's have a little go, shall we? So that's why there's no rush on the can opening because I have released some of the gas. Let's put the nitro surge Guinness Nitro Surge device on there. And like I say, I've, I've had such fun with this device. I've run so many Nitro beers through it, not all of them that I've reviewed. Uh, and some of them, it has made quite a difference. One of them was O'Hara's um, O'Hara Stout, the O'Hara's Nitro Stout. Did the pinprick, ran it through that, and it, it did transform it. it. It was a good beer anyway, or a good stout, and running it through that just made it even smoother and really enjoyable. Anyway, let's stop waffling. Let's get on with it. Let's turn it on. Lights on on the top. Let's pour this. Let's see what happens. And there you go. We can see the nitro surging every now and then as it does every couple of seconds. And let's just upright the can. Get this completely upside down. And it's certainly cascading away. Does look good. Okay, come on, get in there. It's in a pint glass, so we're not going to feel that because it's a 440 mil can. But we're near practically there. Let's just give that one more turn upside down. Get every last drop out. That's all out. Uh, John Smith's is brewed by Heineken now. It's been brewed by so many different people. It's changed hands so many times. And I'm, I'm coming up for 48. I, I drunk John Smith's back in my teens and it was reasonable. It was a fairly decent bitter, but it's just changed hands so many times. I think Heineken have ruined it as they have done with many beers, but it still has a huge following. It's simple as that. It does still have a huge following. So let's take that off. Let's pop that on there, just so we know what we're talking about, which is fairly obvious. Uh, and let's have a look at it. It's, it's done a fair bit of cascading and that has still got a way to go. That is gonna take a little while to settle. I don't know how well you can see that, but we are still here with the cascading. It seems to have really just sat there. That could take a while. That could take longer than Guinness. It really could. That is taking a very, very long time, which isn't a bad thing. I'm not against that. Very dense, silky looking head, really dense, can barely see any bubbles, hardly any bubbles in there. Looks like a um, ice hockey puck has been dropped on the top of that. It's so thick. 
and it is still settling it is still taking its time how long i'm going to give this i don't know but that is definitely taking a long time to do it settling which is cool it's all a bit of fun isn't it Look, am i going to go into the flavor profile not really i'm just going to see <laughs> what difference it is should have done a side by side by pouring a can of that into a glass and, and then doing another one with the nitro on it is what I really should have done. But that head certainly looks a lot tighter than a normal can of John Smith's. I can probably form peaks on that, it's so dense. Yeah, you can, you really can. It's a shame I haven't got a camera above it because I've just done a smiley face. Two eyes and a big smile and it's sticking there. That really is an absolutely dense head. Let's have a little go on the aromas. Like I say, I'm not going to do a breakdown of it. If you've watched my channel and you've watched my review of this, you know I'm not a fan. This is just a bit of fun. That's all it is. And yeah, a pretty, <laughs> a pretty much a not a lot. A pretty much not a lot? What sort of wording is that? There's not a lot of aroma. Really not a lot. Maybe a bit of malt. There's a bit of kind of tinniness to it. It's not great. I've said it a million times. Well, not a million, but a few. It's a bit of fun. Let's have a go. Let's see how smooth this is through the Guinness Nitro Surge device. What's the ABB on this? Is it 3.6 these days? God, there's nothing to that. Three, yeah, 3.6. You know, it, it's quite low ABV, isn't it? Um, it's definitely smooth. It's definitely smooth. Sticking to the glass. But... But it's absolute. I mean, I've practically almost drunk it, haven't I? It's, it's so smooth. Uh, is it smoother through the nitro surge than it is straight out the can? I'd, I'd say it actually is. It is smoother from what I remember. And if that was a pint glass, we probably could have, well, a pint can. By looking at that head, we'd have got a dome on that, without a doubt. Um, it's just so nondescript. It just tastes of nothing absolutely nothing I don't get it I, I don't get why it's popular probably going to get ruined in the comments by John Smith faithfuls but there's so many better bitters than that so many I mean, I'm going to finish it. There's the head. Uh, it's smooth, it, it's creamy, it tastes of nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, but it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely smoother. Look at it. There you go. There you go, it was a bit of fun. It's smooth, yes, it's smoother through the surger device. Yes, it absolutely is with the pinprick method. Let some of the gas out, run it through the surger. If you want an even smoother, John Smith's extra smooth, make it extra, extra smooth. Slam it through the Guinness surger. There you go, I'm all done. See you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.